This month is very tough for our Asian American community, our friends, our neighbors, and our family that is dealing with the hate crimes committed on them is creating more problems. The crimes on the Asian American community will not be tolerated. And for all the subscribers and new subscribers, please be on the lookout for your local Asian American neighbors and report any crime activity that happens, as we do not need to have more crime rising. And this reason because of the name of COVID-19 is the real source of the issue. It does mean we blame certain ethnic groups on connections to a virus. Please let's inform people to stop the hate so that we all live peacefully throughout the week. And from now on. Following the first episode of the season, the protagonists in search of the other artifacts that are discovered, giving some weird phenomena continues in episode 2, where a component that federal agents Brian, played by Jonathan Tucker, and Agent Finola, played by Ryan Steele, discover an artifact that is cloning people and an Easter egg mystery appears to Agent Brian. While moving to Episode 3, the Federal agents discover another artifact that kidnaps people from different time periods in this challenging third episode journey, while they discover the components and another issue that will give another challenge to the team and probably national security, where it is later discovered that wreckage has scattered all over the globe. Episodes 2 and 3 did pretty well, creatively in their writing, with each scenario being different, with each piece of wreckage being discovered, and what they are used for as for their purpose of each component. This show in a global distributed scale could do well globally, but there would have to be some clearance in the real world for that purpose to follow and won't go into those reasons why. Sorry, Hollywood. Even with my writings, you kindly can't have those that aren't for sale to be treated as spec scripts. With a lot of fans of anime loving the artwork, an article was discovered about a young boy in Venezuela by the name of Samuel Andreas Mendoza, who without telling his mother that he drew anime artwork to sell on his Twitter account. And times of economic hardship there, this young teen knew what was happening and sold his colorful drawings to earn money to help his mom, while aware of the COVID-19 pandemic and that his mother doesn't work on the streets. This article caught Samurai Medium Mainframe Global by the heart and this heartwarming article of a young man helping his family we couldn't let pass. The young teen at the age of 14 was discovered by another artist, Oscar Alvarez, who runs an art academy saw Samuel's drawings and gave him a scholarship to study drawing. For Samuel's plans for the future, he plans to raise more money to advance his skills and to start his own YouTube channel talking about video games. We look forward to seeing your content and keep up with your drawings too. Credit goes to News 4 Jax. Since the 2011 earthquake in Tohoku, after 10 years ago, with a Netflix anime involving the whole nation of Japan seeking, a new anime film is about to be released about a dog and a lot of pets trapped during the Fukushima power plant accident. The film is based off the novel 
Fukushima Yome One Ka Gatsu no Hisa Inyi Tongari Tama no Gonpa by Takashi Nakamoto. At the same time, the film will be released. The history of the earthquake 10 years ago killed more than 15,000 lives with a 9.0 earthquake magnitude, the highest recorded in history in Japan, resulted in the reconstruction and rebuilding, marking their 10 year anniversary. Credit goes to Jotaku Network. With the next Evangelion rebuild film, Evangelion 3 Plus 1, Thrice Upon a Time, to be released, Kiri Made Cafe is collaborating with the franchise, presenting some beverage, food, sweets, and drinks connected to the movie. The images of the beverages of the Evangelion characters will be showed in their respective colors, while Masato's drink is a plain old beer can. For more information from their menu, head to the link below the description below this video. Credit goes to Anime News Network. That's it for tonight. While there will be more content to premiere and to share with you while keeping you informed, have a nice night.